two hours later. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just keep All right, everyone, so I got some more parts for the Tacoma. First, to start everything off, I got this sweet b and Magnum Grip shifter. I also got some other miscellaneous new boots, some wastegate tubing, as well as a output slip yoke. And big thanks to Rodney over at Ben's Force for hooking me up with some new gaskets. So with that said, I should be able to put the intake, valve cover, and everything back on my engine, and we can start mounting the transmission cooler. Let's go. Wow. Step is to mount my BM shifter, and I pretty much just want it to sit here in a nice, comfortable position. What I'm gonna do is take the old shifter plate that held the boot, I'm gonna copy this template I made out of this thin stainless, and I'll copy it over to a thicker piece of aluminum that I can bolt to my trans tunnel that I made to then make a platform off of that to mount this BM shifter. So I've finally got my full reverse manual valve body for L80E. I went with the Extreme Automatics manual valve body and pretty much that is the only connector on this whole transmission is this one spade that you send 12 volts to to lock up the torque converter. Other than that, this thing is completely mechanical and only relies on the position of the shifter to know which gear it's in. So you have park, reverse, neutral, first, second, third, and fourth. So with that said, Let's go ahead and go over to my FTI 3000 RPM stall torque converter and let's go ahead and slide it onto the 4L80E. So now the engine is in for its final fitment as well as the 4L80. And if you go look under here, my next step 
is to bolt up my cross member. As you can see, this thing fits in here like a glove. Still some room around the bell housing, which is great. And I was able to reuse my Nissan 350Z rubber transmission mount and just slot the holes to fit to the 4080 bolt pattern. So with that said, let's bolt this up and then let's get some transmission cooler lines ran to the cooler. Alright everyone, so now I have the drive shaft beveled right here. As you can see, I laid a channel here for the new weld to sit. I'm now going to press the end cap into the drive shaft and get this line perfectly lined up. Once I do that, I can take the dial indicator and I can get this to set plumb with the rest of the drive shaft. I am now going to press in this new U-joint along with the 4L80E slip yoke. the shifter is hooked up to the transmission i just drilled a hole right here into the carpet and through the trans tunnel and i've got everything hooked up the cable is adjusted and we can move on to hooking up everything to the engine I put the temp sensor in the pan where I TIG welded that bung in, and I also got my dipstick tube to fit. I had to bend it quite a few times to fit through this trans tunnel, and I also had to make this tab and weld it so that it can bolt to one of the bell housing bolts. It comes out at a sweet spot, and I can run a factory GM dipstick. 
I finished all of the wiring that goes to the transmission. All I have here is one wire, which goes to the solenoid to do the torque converter lockup. And if you come right here, I wired it into my little relay box, but pretty much I just have a switch so I'll be able to lock up the torque converter in final gear. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I really hope you enjoyed it. I had an absolute blast building this truck. I almost enjoy working on it as much as I do driving it. I'm super stoked I went with the automatic transmission. It suits this engine perfectly, and I learned a ton doing this whole swap. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.